Hey everyone, my name is Brandy Ellen. I thank you for clicking over to this video. My mission with my YouTube channel is to help share ideas, thoughts, and experiences that will inspire others to live their best life. Without further ado, here is today's video. I wanted to talk about time wasters today, and it's so hard to use that term because I'm going to tell you about some of the things where we remove certain people from our life that are time wasters. Now, I'm not saying these people are actually time wasters, like meaning it a negative thing. But when you work from home and you're running your own business, you have to be extremely self-disciplined. I'm extremely ADHD all over the place, so I have to really narrow down my four to five hour work day into little time blocks of tasks. I use Asana.com to keep me on pace for the day. So, one of the best ways to learn what is wasting your time is to take a look and make it well make notes basically of what you do all day long make those notes all week and then evaluate it and see where you lost work hours perhaps a family member calls once every week and they want to talk to you but this is during your work hours so while that family member isn't a time waster you value your connection with them and you want to talk to them but you're doing it during your work hours. Therefore, it does become a time waster. So what I suggest with those type of situations is to adjust when you talk to that family member. This conversation is important to you, it's important to them. So chat with them and reschedule a better time that works for both of you, that doesn't interfere with your work at home schedule. Another daily time waster I found for me was the newsfeed on Facebook. That place has become insane lately and I can't handle it. I see people sad all the time or people happy or this is just too much information and my head goes into overload. I'll sit down to do my work for clients on Facebook and get sucked into that newsfeed and have 20 minutes to an hour to slip by like that. So that was a time waster. I decided to install this extension in Chrome that's called Kill Newsfeed. That means whenever I log on to Facebook for work, I will no longer see that main newsfeed. I can still schedule client posts. I can post on my personal profile. I can see notifications and respond to them appropriately. I can engage on pages, Facebook pages and groups. I can do all of that, but I just won't see that main newsfeed. So therefore, I won't be bringing in information that is pertinent to my four to five hour work day. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this, is that you need to first journal down, journal what you're doing every single day. Account for every minute. We all have the same hours in a week. Figure out how many hours you want to work. Most recently in 2021, I decided that I have enough following. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I shouldn't have to be working seven days a week around the clock. Seriously. So I decided that my goal would be Monday through Thursday is a work week, period. I will work somewhere between four and five hours or five and six hours, and that's it, period. I will make what I have work within that time frame, And I did it. I am successfully on like, I think my second full month of having Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Now that doesn't mean I don't write blog posts for my own blogs because I have many of them, or that I'm not working on writing some of my eBooks that I'm going to be launching this year. I do work on my passion projects, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays if I'm feeling inspired. But the point is, is that I don't have to do any work those days. I have three days to do whatever I want because I was able to remove those daily time wasters that were just sucking my time from work and sucking my mind so they couldn't be my most productive self. So I invite you to take a minute, evaluate where you're spending your time during your work at home day, determine how many hours you really want to work, and be realistic with that goal. Then slowly reschedule or remove those time wasters that are sucking you dry during your work day. I promise you doing this one little step at a time, you'll start feeling extremely inspired. Your motivation will go up, your productivity will go up, and in turn, your income level will go up, which will just be good all around. Not to mention, you'll find that you're more present during your family time because you regain control of your work hours. So I hope that this inspires you to set your own schedule, figure out where you're wasting time. If you need some more advice and tips on how to do this, I'm going to leave a blog post 
in the description below where I wrote a little more in depth on this topic. So I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I want to engage with you and help you figure out how to remove time wasters so that you can manage your time better for work at home success. Thanks so much for finishing my video. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below and click the bell to get notifications for when I post again. I appreciate your continued support.